Hey mamas, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Shaded by Jay. If you are new here, welcome. Today's vlog is, I don't know, we just going with the vibes. So I just left Whole Foods, y'all. I should have vlogged while I was in Whole Foods. Um, I had picked Selena up from school. And yeah. I was like, let's go to Whole Foods, daughter, because why not? So right now, let me show y'all what I got from Whole Foods. I wish Stormy just leave me alone, seriously. So y'all, I went live earlier. I don't know what it is. It's like when I go live, the vibes are not there. But when I'm on YouTube, the vibes are there. What is that about? Well, Instagram Live. All right, so let me show y'all what I got. So... First on the docket, we have, did you know, I'm not on a diet really, but I'm just trying to watch what I eat because I really do need to lose a few more pounds, y'all. I gained all my weight back from when I did that um, weight loss. Remember when I was getting skinny? Y'all remember when I was getting skinny. I've been eating good, living good. So I got these grain-free jalapeno tortilla chips because if you know, you know that um, Whole Foods has the best guac. So this is gonna go with the whole food squad. We keep salad in the house. So we love salad. I love salad. I could just eat this like this and then I add the Olive Garden dressing to it. Love it. Avocados for my daughter. I'm about to pop this in the oven. It's Friday night. We just got back in the house from my outing today. So I'm like, you know what? This weekend is lazy. I'm not cooking. So I only cook on Sunday. Well, I don't like to cook on Fridays and Saturdays. I, those are just my days to myself. So I got me and um, I got Celine a dairy-free pizza to pop in the oven. She don't eat that with salad. Celine eats the same stuff, y'all. I do try to give her new things. She don't like it, but why deprive her of the things that she really likes? If she, as long as she's eating, that's all I care. As long as it's something healthy and it's vegan, that's all I care about. Then I got her. Um, normally I get these from Target in a pack. These are new. I've never seen these one before. These are the organic cashew nut yogurts. And then I get her this brand all the time. But this is the first time I've seen the overnight oats and the immunity elderberry. So I'm going to see how she likes these two. And they'll determine if I get more or not. Because these things was $3 each. Yeah. Here's the guac for the um, grain-free tortilla chips. Y'all, if you know, you know. Whole Foods carrot cake, so good, y'all. So, so, so good. So I got some carrot cake. Then I got my favorite sushi. Um, this is not the crunch one, though. They didn't add the crunch to it, but it's still the shrimp tempura sushi from Whole Foods. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Then I got Celine some of these vegan Cheez-Its. always these all the stuff okay um she was eating these inside the car she just wanted them so bad these are vegan chocolate chip cookies but they are the soft bake she likes these way better than the other ones i think they just came out with these because before they were hard my girl is a soft girl okay just like her mama i yo every time i say mama is so cringy from north we don't say mama we call our moms mom but since i've been living in georgia they all say mama and this is weird don't shoot me. I'm changing. I don't like that. <laughs> um, and then how cute is this? I got her some macaroni and cheese. This is vegan macaroni and cheese. But look, it's little fishies. So cute. So I think she'll enjoy that. Strawberries, because my girl loves strawberries. Y'all, I also found this for myself. Um, I also found this. So normally, if you like Trader Joe's lobster raviolis i think you might like this because this is even better it has crab in it it has crab and lobster so i got this and then like i said we're doing it lazy this weekend so i also got this um vodka sauce love this with that and of course i'm gonna put like some garlic and stuff in it but i'm not like cooking too crazy y'all know normally i make my sauce from scratch i'm working less harder this weekend because i have a lot of videos to edit a lot of content to edit and y'all know I got a webinar coming up so I've been creating the whole um I've been creating the whole lecture for that like 
I ain't got time to be slaving over no stove. Last but not least, well, this is not the last thing. This is Celine's favorite juices. And then, oh, look, y'all. This is my first time trying Olipop. Normally, I drink all types of sparkling water. The only, <coughs> the only type of probiotic drink I drink is the, um, y'all know the pink ones, the kombucha, I drink those. And then I did have a strawberry champagne olive pop. No, strawberry champagne poppy. I had a strawberry champagne poppy. But this is olive pop and this is banana cream. I'm like, ooh, I wanna try it. Cause y'all know anything that's for your gut with probiotic, it tastes like vinegar because it, a little bit of vinegar because it has apple cider vinegar for your gut, so. Then I got Celine an apple. She just wanted one apple. I normally ask her like how many apples she went and this time she just wanted one. The girl gets what she wants. I just live in her world. Y'all already know, let the mama say when it comes to a drink we going. Thank you. Why do they have an organic strawberry margarita? Like, I guess it's a little healthy and I'ma drink it. But yeah. So that's everything that I got from Whole Foods, y'all. I spent $113. To be honest, this is not really a lot of stuff. But hey, life is expensive right now, okay? That's why I need y'all to join my webinar. Buy some Shaded by Jade Cosmetics. Help a sister out. I got a baby to feed. <laughs> but no, for real, y'all. Everything is so expensive right now. It's ridiculous. Like, this is just a visual of everything. I literally just showed y'all everything. But I gotta take a picture of all this stuff, you know, content things. Make sure y'all sign up for my webinar because I'm gonna show y'all how I go about editing and all this good stuff, you know, how I could do this and that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna get ready for bed. You know, just vibe. Oh, that's the oven for Swing's Pizza. But yeah, I'm in a really good mood right now, guys. I'm going on vacation with my friends. I'm so excited. Um, but I just been preparing for that. I need to finish ordering some stuff. And then I need to finish creating some content. So we're gonna do a little video, you know, like some little vibes before I get in the shower tonight. I'm gonna show y'all some new products I've been using, like a little wind down after this, you know? So I see y'all This Sundress Linen. These are my favorite, y'all. so good. Then, I also got Ocean. Oh my God, these are so good, y'all. Like. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my whole house be lit up, okay? These just smell so freaking good. I use these for my bathroom. I put these in my closet. The bomb, the bomb. And then these go all around my house. I was supposed to do my nighttime skincare, but yesterday got a little crazy. So I'm like, okay, we can just do it now. So during this segment, I had talked about on TikTok, like things I wish that I would have known at the age 25, things I wish I would have known in my 20s. And I was like, we can just do the finishing up on here. We buy some skincare. Y'all gonna see step by step what I'm using. So I'm gonna try my best to talk and just show y'all the products, okay? Talk and show y'all the products. This is my up did it skincare routine okay y'all got me y'all ready okay let's get into it things that i learned being 25 shit don't be that deep like it really don't first of all do y'all know like every time you go through something it's literally just to teach you a lesson or give you a blessing or put you on a new level or it's just life you know what i'm saying you really just gotta learn how to pivot and finesse Pivot and finesse. I talked about this before, but I feel like I'll be repeating myself a lot. Um, but you just have to learn how to just go with the flow of things and stop trying to be so in control. Like the only thing that you can really control is your actions and the things that 
you want to do for yourself. When it comes to other people and problems you occur with other people, you really have to learn how to just pivot and keep it pushing. When I was younger, I used to really think that, you know, like women who had, like I used to think that like when a man would be like, oh, I don't want you wearing this. I don't want you going here when you're trying to hang out with your friends. He try to in, in, uh, ruin your plans to hang out with your friends. Or when he's just too controlling, I used to think that that, you know, that means that a man really cares about a woman. And ladies, that is not true. A man who is trying to control you is not a man for you. And it's a difference from being submissive to your man, a man that properly leads, because you would know if your man is properly leading because it doesn't disturb your spirit. You trust his instincts, you trust his judgment, you trust him just being a man. And you, you know, it's easy for you to just be submissive. You won't even think that you're being submissive because it just flows easy. At the end of the day, I feel like as long as you are being respectful and you're not doing anything to, you know, embarrass your, your partner or embarrass yourself. You're just being yourself or just trying to have a good time and have a life outside of your relationship. If he's trying to put a stop to that, that man is controlling. That man is a narcissist. It's just you need to run. A lot of the times, controlling men try to control their relationships because it's the easiest thing to do because they can't control other aspects in their life. You should be able to be yourself with your significant other. That is supposed to be your safe space. You know, every relationship, you have to have a life outside of your relationship. That's the only way to keep it healthy. If you are just drowning in your man or if your man is just drowning in you and y'all don't have nothing going on outside of your relationship, that's when things start to get weird, controlling, and you really don't have no identity outside of that. That is extremely unhealthy. And a lot of times when men are super controlling, or they're on your ass about certain shit, always thinking you're doing something, that's because they're doing something. If a man is constantly on your ass and you've never done nothing for them to assume you're doing things, then nine times out of 10, baby, he's doing something. He's trying to control the narrative to make sure you're not going nowhere. I know that word is like so heavily used right now, but a narcissist is a narcissist, baby. Also, being soft is really just when you are in your best state of being a woman in your femininity you're not dealing with things that are causing you to make you so angry soft life is just really being healed to me you can't be soft and kind and sweet and non-defensive if you are still dealing with some type of trauma that's really all soft, soft life is now to each his own to whatever y'all think that soft life is but to me that's what soft life is and a lot of y'all um feel like y'all don't have a soft life because y'all not going shopping um at luxury stores or because y'all don't have a man or because a man is not spurging on y'all or because you have a nine to five job or you feel like you have a soft life because you're doing these things i'm here to tell you i don't believe in that i think soft life is really just when you are showing up as your best self you're at peace you are moving with grace you're happy i forgot to show y'all this <laughs> but you know you moving with grace you're happy you're being your best self that's what a soft life is to me and you are you know y'all know i'm gonna have to throw that in there but when of course you are getting closer to god because the closer you get to god the more peace you find and the more you move without making decisions like strictly for yourself like you know you pray about things it's just like it's more of a what's the word i'm trying to use it's more of a intentional you know you're more intentional with how you move you're more intentional about how you go about certain situations like you know there's it'd be some stuff that i go through where i'm like bro if this was like two three years ago i would have responded so much differently to this situation i know that i'm healed because when somebody says something crazy to me i let them get it all out like i just let them say what they gotta say but normally I'll be the one to like interrupt to try to like shut it down, but I just be quiet, let them say what they gotta say, and then a calm manner, I just, you know, let them know how I feel, let them know what I gotta say in the most respectful, graceful manner. I'm telling you, that's how you really will get underneath somebody's skin when you just let them talk and let them hear themselves, especially if they're in the wrong and you just acknowledge how they feel. You know, now I just be acknowledging how people feel. Like, okay, I'm not taking away from how you feel, I respect how you feel. You know, I just know that that's the heal me because the old me, I would not go about situations like that. Like, I would be like, I don't know how you feel because 
that is really me y'all okay and uh, it's so crazy because a lot of people don't believe my my personality sometimes you know i'm like a light switch like certain things you know i'm not gonna lie i'm a little low key so certain things just you know take me there but i know that i'm healing because i don't respond to certain situations the same way and i just love that for me because when you move so gracefully it just it shakes people up you know they don't know what to expect you know i love pissing people off when they think i'm gonna go about a situation a certain way and it's like you don't know me at the end of the day People don't be knowing who you are. Heal, sis. That's the best get back. That's something I learned in my 20s. The best get back is healing yourself and getting on your sh period. So feelings are not facts. And at first I didn't understand that. But basically all that means is like how you feel is not a fact. You know, we are all entitled to how we feel, how we feel. We're human beings. You know, we deal with things to where we have feelings. But for example, like you could feel a certain way about something today and then feel something totally different about it tomorrow. Feel like answering emails or you don't feel like doing research for your business. You don't feel like being a mom, right? Sometimes, listen, some days we don't feel like being a mom, right? But that doesn't mean I don't wanna be a mom. I, I love being a mom. But some days I don't feel like it, but my feelings in that moment is not a fact. You get what I'm saying? Where you're trying to go, the bigger picture is the fact to you. But how you feel in the moment is not a fact. And I'm saying that to say like, you have to, you have to shake your feelings off to make some shit. You have to shake your feelings off to get to the end goal. Because right now it's your feelings and then the BS in between, it's like a roller coaster. And it's the fact <clears throat> at the end, feelings are not facts. Nobody is gonna have you like you do. Nobody is gonna be an advocate for yourself but you. No matter how much somebody tells you that they love you and how they how they cherish you or they'll do anything for you, people can say anything until they're put in a position to really show their loyalty or what they can really do for you. And that's okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because people have their own lives too, but you really have to be, at, be that like soldier for yourself and put it in perspective no matter what you are all you have at the end of the day you cannot control other people and you know what they are supposed to do for you or how they're supposed to be here for you or how they're supposed to show up for you life happens everybody got their own life going on so to eliminate putting so much pressure on other people and having ex expectations on other people you have to show up for yourself i mean a hundred percent because when you're lacking certain areas and you have people around you that's telling you like oh yeah you know i'm gonna do this for you you know i'm gonna give you some money so you could do this or you know i'm gonna watch your kid you're gonna go out to dinner so we can talk i know you're having a rough day i'm gonna, I'm gonna um put in the application for you so you can get this job like people will say certain things and sometimes they don't live up to what they say it happens sometimes you know sometimes we fall short for other people it happens if you show up for yourself 100 percent again like i said in the beginning you gotta learn how to like move around stuff and really show up for yourself because when you're lacking certain spaces in your life and you feel like you don't know what to do you're going to depend on other people and when you're depending on other people that is a dangerous thing now it's nice it's nice to know that you have people that's going to support you so that that i love when people show up for me and I wasn't even expecting it, you know? Cause I'm like, I'm gonna do what I gotta do for myself regardless. So when they do come through for me, it's like amazing. But if they don't, it's cool. Cause I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get there. So again, that's why it's important for us women, make your own money. As women, we do so much y'all. Like a lot of the things that we do, men cannot do. I feel like women can do any job that a man can do. We could provide. We can take care of the kids. You got women who's in the army. You got women that are police officers. You got women that's in the rap game. You got women that's owning uh, large companies. Like women can do anything that a man can do. And I'm not trying to be, what's the word? I'm not trying to be one of those type of women that's like, I hate men or whatever. I have a man that I'm deeply in love with that I love and respect. So I understand the different roles that women and men play in each other's life. But I feel like us women, we are just super women because if ever our man was to fall short, us women have the capability of getting whatever done. 
You know what I'm saying? We have the capability to get whatever done. We can show up for a man being emotional for them, cooking for them, cleaning for them. You, you know, you got some men that don't know how to cook, men that don't know how to have conversations about their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real here. Like, but us women, we, we do all of that. We do all of that and raise kids and run businesses. So I'm just saying that to say, like, live in your power. Women, feminine energy is just such a beautiful, strong thing. And just because you are a strong woman doesn't mean that you have to be aggressive. Being a strong woman doesn't mean you have to show people that you're aggressive. You'll be the bitch damn. The feminine energy is just so powerful. Like, we really can get whatever we want. So always show up for yourself. Like, and I'll say now that, for example, like, my boyfriend, he don't cook. He knows how, I feel like he knows how to because he's cooked for me like one or two times ever. Like, no, I'll take that back three times. And if I'm not home and he's hungry, he'll call me like, hey, babe, when you coming home, I'm hungry. And I'm like, boy, it's stuff in the house, make it. And then he'll be like, then he'll be like, no, I'm gonna just wait for you to get here or I'm gonna just order something. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> But like a woman, like we would just went in there and cook something to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like it just be small stuff like that that I'm saying. Like us women, we could do everything. Another thing that I learned in my 20s, just about feminine energy, like us women, we are really a prize. I feel like what we bring to a household, to a family, to a man, just being a nurturer, um, just being compassionate. We are really the prize. And the proper man is gonna remind you that you are the prize. I hate seeing relationships sometimes where a man be trying to like downplay women like as if they're the prize or something. Like don't get me wrong, a great man is well respected and a woman will, and if you really are a good man, a woman is gonna show you that. However, I just feel like it's kind of lame to make women feel small because men are just such in their ego. Um, but I just think it's lame for men to be acting like that with women, like they're the prize. Like, no, us women, we are always as the trophy. Like, come on now, that's lame. A man should definitely let you live in that energy. And that's another reason why women can't be soft. That's another reason why women struggle with being soft because they have a man that's constantly making them feel like they gotta prove themselves. Like, what the f Like, if men are dealing with women who's not up to their part, now that's their fault. Like, you know, you decided to be with this woman, so you need to go about it a different way. Let me spray some of this on my face. So this is like my little, I should have sprayed that on my lashes, y'all. Do not do that. People come and go out of your life, y'all. Like, again, everything is just, you know, like life is really, I just feel like life is just really like all about just dealing with certain obstacles to win the prize. You know, like that's how I look at it. Like whatever you feel like your calling is, whatever you feel like your prize is at the end of everything, it's just like an obstacle course. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I love Kim Kardashian. I'm gonna see if I can find a clip of Kim Kardashian, but I love when Kim Kardashian explains this. She said like she deals with everything in the moment. And remember I was talking to y'all in my feminine energy video. If y'all haven't watched it, go watch it. I think it'll help a lot of women out. That, that video did so well. I'm so proud of myself. But um, Kim said that she deals with situations like boom and then boom. So it's like, okay. My kid is sick, I'm dealing with this. Okay, now that I took care of my child, my child is okay for the moment. Okay, now for me, I gotta edit this video and record my video. Okay, then after that, then it's time to make dinner. And then after that, I gotta make a phone call after this. And then Monday, I'll deal with that Monday when I gotta ship these orders out. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, Kim is in the moment. And great business women are in the moment. They focus on what it is at that time that is just the most important thing because that way you're not leaving anything behind you're not scattered like you're just going with things as they go and that's really just how i look at life like i'm just dealing with each episode <laughs> until we get to the finale right <laughs> like that's just how i look at it like people come go and don't take it so serious where you move different places people go through different things in life in their life where it's calling them to be a different person or they are trying to reach the person that they want to be and your friends may not align with you in that chapter of your life i catch myself sometimes being closer to one person maybe this year and then next year I'm closer to this person like but there's still all the same people that's been in my life I didn't cut them off but like each year I get closer or distant from somebody it just always happens like that because certain people either are aligning where I'm at 
or certain people are either aligning on a different level than me or then some people are not aligning with me. I still love them, they know they can call me, but you know, we just don't have much to relate to. I don't wanna talk about the same stuff that we used to talk, talk about no more. Like, that relationship doesn't serve me at that time. I'm not the only one that's elevating or going places with life. I've dealt with that too. I've had friends and associates that like took off like a rocket. And you know, at that time I couldn't relate to them and that's totally understandable. I don't feel like somebody just left me in a cold or they, they changed and stuff. Like, you know, if we still have that mutual conversation, that mutual love, when I get on my shit, I know we might get a little closer because now we have more to relate to. So don't dwell on if like your old high school friend or your old middle school elementary school friends you feel like y'all got dissed in and you know things like that like and they're not in your life no more like don't dwell about that like people come and go out of your life y'all it's it is what it is like you know all you're doing is just reaching your next your next level that's all that it is that's all that's all that it is really like and when you look at it like that i feel like you would just be so much more in peace and in so oh another thing that i learned like stop keeping up i talked about this on tiktok stop trying to keep up with fashion trends and um aesthetics y'all you know remember you are the aesthetic but really when you are trying to constantly keep up with trends and aesthetics, it takes away from who you really are because you're just only liking something because everybody does. Now, it's one thing if you genuinely like whatever trend is out at the time, but if you're the type of person where you always try to like navigate to the new trends, that is dangerous because I feel like, you know, you're kind of losing who you are. And you may, a lot of people who do stuff like that, they are the ones who are t who are really be dealing with a lot of mental health issues because they're trying to keep up. Really focus on what you like, who you are, remove any distractions. Like when it comes to buying um, pieces and clothes and outfits and stuff like that, you know, purchase good quality things that are like timeless, a little bit more simple so it'll never go out of style. Like you'll save so much money. I see a lot of people going broke trying to keep up with trends too like really find out who you are and like stick to that you are the aesthetic i see the girls on tiktok now talking about something they tired of like just white walls and they're tired of their house looking so plain and boring and they want to add pink you see the girls listen y'all remember i did my confession for pink and you see the girls you see the mamas they out here like showing their love for pink now but it's like remember just not too long ago people was like i only wear news i only wear this i only this. <laughs> Now the girls is loving pink again. Like, you see what I'm saying? That's why you gotta really stick to what you like. Cause guess what? You, that's when you might get your turn. When it's something that you actually like and something that you're passionate with and you already been on that vibe, it's gonna seem like it's new to other people because it wasn't the trend at the time. So when it does, like every, tr trends change. So when the trend comes about, Oh, now you that girl again. Like if I would've kept all my true religions that I had in middle school and high school, you see true religion coming back out, you see a uh, coach coming back out. Like if I would've kept my shit, like I would've been that girl. I would've had uh, what they call it, vintage pieces. <laughs> if you think it's cute, you think it's a vibe, rock out with it. You know, that's just what it is. Like you are the aesthetic. Life is really just about experience and experiencing new things. Like I much rather go out to eat with my friends have hookah, some drinks in a new city and just vibing out. Mind you, you guys, I put this in the refrigerator. Um, I love these eye patches. They're champagne, they are rose, strawberry rose. They sell them at Neiman Marcus and Ulta. That's my kind of fun. Don't get me wrong, I like to club sometimes. <laughs> it's nothing like a good old club vibe. Life is just so much fun. Fun when you are just traveling with the people that you love, making memories with the people you love. Oh my God, that's my favorite. Like if I'm not on a trip or doing something fun with the people I love, new experiencing new things, life be boring as hell. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm having a webinar. If you wanna start a YouTube channel or you're an entrepreneur, you wanna learn how to monetize off of both and combine the two, learn how to edit videos and get good quality content, make sure you guys click the link in my description box. I love y'all so much. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of things that I learned, femininity, but because I was talking about this stuff on TikTok, I just wanted to do it on my YouTube real quick, you know, in this video out on this good Sunday. I love y'all so much. Make sure you guys Guys, like comment and subscribe and shop shadedbyjade.com that's what I have on my lips you already know flawless berry bye